my name's Kelsey and you're watching this week's video views. So trailers we've got for you this week are Ratchet and Clank All for One, Resident Evil 4 and we've also got a showcase of the Rising Star games that they're releasing this winter. The first trailer we have for you is the Ratchet and Clank All for One game. So as you know this is one of Sony's biggest selling games and this is the first title that you will see online and, online and offline multiplayer games. So let's go have a look at that. <laughs> So this game sees Ratchet, Clank, Captain Quark and Dr. Nefarious working together after Dr. Nefarious' last attempt to destroy everyone kind of backfired on him. He left the thing stuck in the machine and now it's kind of like turned into the creature collector. So as you can see you've now got the four players which is where the multiplayer comes into play as you team up and try and obviously correct Dr. Nefarious' mistake. So as you probably all know, the previous uh, Ratchet and Clank titles were all single player, so it's hard to see if they're going to be able to do multiplayer that well, but we will see when the game comes out obviously, and this title is up for release in October. So next up we have the trailer for The Resident Evil 4, which is a HD remake. Originally this was on GameCube and PS2, but it's also been released on PC and Wii. So now with this re-release in HD, it's now going to be on Xbox. 360 and PS3 as well as having a little um, application on Apple iOS so it's seen lots of different ports all over the years another thing to remember is that this has been claimed as one of the best games in a lot of like top game titles so let's go see if the trailer lives up to the old standards Peggy 18 So if you haven't played the game before, this sees Leon Kennedy searching for his daughter um, through Spanish, like rural Spanish village, which is what you can see happening in the trailer. Obviously there's monsters, it's a little bit dark and things like that. So this game is only going to cost around £12, but is it worth £12 for another remake on the game that you've probably already owned? It is HD, so time will tell. So also being re-released is Resident Evil Code Runner Rex. This was originally on Dreamcast, was later re-released on PS2 in 2001 and is now seeing the HD remake on Xbox 360 and PS3 just like Resident Evil 4. Both of these titles will be available on PSN on Xbox Live sometime in September. So last but not least we have the Rising Star Games uh, showcase for games that they are coming out of this winter so let's go have a little look at that.
So obviously my favourite from that showcase is Harvest Moon. It looks so much fun. Rising Star definitely has Japanese influence and the games do look really good. You've got a nice mixture of fighting games, you've got like Harvest Moon simulator sort of games. So there's a good selection of games for everybody out there. For the full Rising Star game showcase, check it out on dailyjoypad.co.uk where you'll also see trailers and news and previews for the other trailers that we've mentioned here today. Thank you for watching and see you next week. Bye!